Hi, uh, this video today is on uh, special parts. I'm trying to get them on your drawings, so um, it's basic enough, but let me go through it here. So basically, if you go somewhere like grab CAD and download a file, you'll end up with something like, this is the drawing here, you'll, get, you'll end up with a zip file like this. So I've got some slings, some wire ropes, shackles. So we did the shackles, we'll extract that to here. And then what we'll do is we open another file here. And let me erase most of these things here because we don't want these inside our drawing. I'll leave this one line here so we know where the origin is. And what I'm going to do is I'll go to import, export, or export, import. No, sorry, we'll go up here to the top and go here and do import other formats. And I want to go back into that file where I downloaded. And we want to go into the shackle. And we want to pick an appropriate file. So the STP file should work fine for us. So do open, uh, import your job in the background, close, you can see down here there'll be a warning, it tells me that it's ready, so we can see it comes in on the center of the shackle, which is fine. Um, ideally we probably want to come in on the center of this line, so we want the center of this for a hole. But the problem you're going to have, we'll do this quickly, is, let me draw the line. So if I draw a line from the center of this one to the center of this line, one of these. All right, so we have a line there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this. I'm going to move it from the center onto the end of that line. Sorry, it does that sometimes. I won't let you snap onto the center. So move it from this point to the end point of the line. All right, so there we are. And I probably want it to be vertical. So I'll rotate through the Y axis and then let's rotate this through 90 degrees there and now we have the shackle is up in the air and now we reset the UCS back to world we want to delete this point here delete and then we'll save this as we'll just call it a test shackle so let's go back here and we'll call it test shackle okay save that so that is now saved so if if you don't do anything with this the chances are this is probably a block so if i click on it and right click you can see it's giving me options for blocks here so this is already a block so let's close this and we want to come in here to our plan and to be honest this doesn't always work for me but <laughs> Let me put in the shackle here and we'll see if it comes in the right way. So we want to come down here, click on special parts, and we want to click on that point. Okay, browse. Now this shackle is probably not big enough, but I can scale it up and bring it in. So it doesn't really matter what size it is, you might want to resize it yourself beforehand. And we're going to do test shackle, open, and you see the shackle has come in there, but it's not big enough, but it's coming in the right place, so we're happy with that. So we can just come down here and do force of one, and there shackle is big enough, all right, and use block name. So that's pretty good. So now what we want to do is let's copy that over this way, five feet. And then I'm going to 
selected two of those and copied them over this way uh, 10 feet I believe 10 feet and there's your shackles now we could do the same thing with wire ropes and stuff like that um, but what we're going to do for now is we're going to put this on a drawing so let's set our UCS to look in on this direction and then let's select everything and I'm going to go to my drawing styles and uh, this is just one I created myself. Uh, modify, and we'll just call this 11. It's fine, doesn't matter. Prototype. Uh, we'll put it on this one here. Actually, I'll put it on my own one. Okay. And now we'll see what we get on our output. So let's go to this. Details. Up to date. And you can see we don't have any shackles so you're like confused now you're going well i got my shackles we see we have one shackle so that's unusual because that's a copied shackle so i don't I, that's kind of disproving my point here but this happens sometimes when you copy them so these sh all four should be the same but it gets confused because there's a block in here now this one is kind of disproving my point uh but what you could do is you can explode these so if you explode them you have to explode them on a couple of levels because there's a couple of different layers in here so what i'm gonna do you know it seems like there's a double shackle there for some reason weird just like a double shackle there when I exploded it maybe that's the reason so look at the back you know I didn't you know I think I know what the problem is I think did I not delete my first shackle there so let's go back we have this one shackle and let's copy it over I think because I had previously done this so I think what's happened is that I just copied that over another shackle that I had already in correctly. So let's try it again. And uh, we'll copy these over 10 feet. We'll go back. Sorry, I just moved them. So let's go 10 feet. Now I would want to put slings and everything in here. So I don't have the slings in but I won't waste the time by doing it so let's look in this way let's delete this view and let's go back and see what happens right so I did it wrong I believe that was a previous shackle that I had that's why it's showing up so let's go here again and modify existing drawing and no shackles so so now the point being if you want to fix this uh, we want to go to test shackle we want to open up the test shackle and we can see we can see then um, we're going to edit the block and we're going to cancel close the block editor sorry so we can see that this is a block. So this is all a block. So if we do X for explode, now it has created two blocks. So there was blocks inside blocks here. So you can see these are still blocks. So you wanna explode that. Um, explode that. And now these are not blocks anymore. You can see it's not giving me block options on the block layer still but that doesn't matter so now save that test shackle now go back to your pick plan delete these ones because when I import this as a special part it makes it into a block so then it's a block inside a block inside a block and it gets too confusing I guess so now 
let's put it in here. Okay, browse, test shackle, open, overwrite, yes. Now see, I've not fixed my UCS, so this is coming all screwed up. So let's delete that, go back here, reset that, and Browse, go back to test shackle, open, overwrite, yes, force to one, there you go, copy that, copy that over five feet, and copy it the other way, ten feet, and your results should be better, and do the same, so just always make sure they're not blocked before you save them as the DWG that you want to import. So now we have our shackles in and let's set our UCS again and let's select this and modify and let's put it on the drawing. Okay. And there you go, there's your shackles. All right, you can delete these lines. The other way you can do it is you can explode the special part on your drone. If you're stuck for time, you can just go here and explode it, but then you've lost the ability to weld it to these parts if you need to weld it to something. So basically that's the video, I hope that helps. Uh, anyone that uh, has any issues with disappearing special parts, all right take care oh actually one last thing so you can see if we go into the drawing style for this uh, you can see i believe it's this one it's one of these they're probably the same anyway go in because you'll probably come in here and check to see your special parts and it's showing visible and off so it should show my special parts but um just in case you come in here and you look and you're like, well, it should be showing it. It's not showing it. So anyway, hope that helps. All right. Bye-bye.